Yeah, you know I'm about to whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, 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 yeah, you know I gotta fall Let's live life, be the ones I'm about to turn up Kick it, fly, oh, for sure, it's about to go up Let's get caught, yeah, you know I'm about to whoa, whoa. Please, 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 yeah, you know I gotta fall Let's live life, be the ones I'm about to turn up Kick it, fly, oh, for sure, it's about to go up Work my belt and pass my Family, what's the word? Thanks for being here. We're about to get into a video. Lionel B. He has one titled that Mr. Take That is not going to survive. He's having withdrawals. And yeah, the experts say he won't last. Now, it takes me back to where Gene Dill said that um, he can see Puff doing something. The ultimate. Anyway, let's get to the video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real quick, side note, sidebar, side note, whatever. The reason Gene Deal said that was um, back at the state college thing, when a lot of people got um, whatever at that concert, he started losing stuff, couldn't pay his rent and stuff like that. And yeah, he wanted to, you get it. Anyway, let's get to it. It has now been set in stone. Diddy has officially become an inmate of the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn. Now known for being the most barbaric prisons in New York, Diddy is definitely going through it and he's not getting used to the new lifestyle at all. Now his attorney went on record saying the living conditions are inhumane as he keeps requesting bail for his client and it keeps on getting denied. All right, so now, don't they know the conditions before they get in these places? Why do the things you're doing to get in these places and then want to complain about how inhumane it is? It was inhumane to. They are stating that Diddy is definitely a danger to the world. Now, after a thorough research of the prison he's being held in, I managed to find out a lot about the living conditions and also the crazy withdrawals he's been experiencing while locked up. Now, some of the main issues with the prison are number one, overcrowding. MDC Brooklyn has struggled with overcrowding leading to cramped conditions. Inmates often share cells and communal areas can become congested, making. Yeah, your boy ain't feeling that. Ain't no baby oil around either. I know your boy going nuts. That's crazy, crazy work. But hey, that's what happens when you play the game how you played the game. Real talk. I bet Big and Craig Mack and a few of them would love to be here instead of where they are. Um, congested, making daily life more uncomfortable. Now that's a far fetch from his multi-million dollar mansions that he had those freak offs in. Now next up is temperature control. Can Stony Field organic yoga? Temperature control. Interesting. Let's get it. Size issues at MDC Brooklyn occurred during a 2019 power outage, which left the facility without heat during a freezing cold winter. This event drew national attention to the jail's poor climate control, with inmates reporting unbearable freezing temperatures in their cells. The sound of cheers to the sight of lights turning on at the Metropolitan Detention Center last night for the first time in days. It was like a breath of fresh air. I was able to get on the phone with my mom. I see lights, mom, I see lights. She's like, what about the heat? What about the heat? They got heat, they got heat. For the past week, as temps dipped into the single digits, many inside the federal run facility, which houses about 1,600 inmates, were living largely without heat and hot water. Number three, medical care. And this is a really big one for Diddy. The quality of medical care has been a frequent complaint. Reports suggest that there are delays in access and medical services, and in some cases, the care provided is inadequate. Five days. Listen, y'all. The moment I got released, when I walked outside, O-M-G. Listen, I just got out the shower. That's why I be kind of sweaty and all that stuff. But anyway, listen, when I walked outside, y'all, I squinted my eyes for about 30 minutes. It was so bright. I couldn't imagine being in here longer than a week. I couldn't imagine it at all. And being a billionaire and going to this life, mm -mm, that ain't the move at all. Number seven, inadequate nutrition. Now the quality and quantity of food served at MDC Brooklyn has been the subject of complaints. But we already know this isn't the Waldorf Astoria. They're not gonna be sitting back eating steak, eggs, and Welch's grapes. 
So we just gonna have to bite the bullet on that one. Now also Diddy is forced to wake up every day at 6 a.m. and mop that little tiny cell he's been in. And being that he's a struggling addict, that makes things even more uncomfortable for him. Now his daily habits of using that pink booger sugar is definitely kicking his ass right now. Now when what he was taking and the use is stopped or when a binge ends, a crash follows almost right away. They said allegedly that um they found some in this hotel room too. Like when they arrested him. Bro really probably had it bad, y'all. And on some real shit, like just being free but not having access to what you need daily can really alter your body and your mind. So now you add the stress of being behind bars potentially for life. Mm. Now he knows this and that's why they found a stash of it at his hotel upon his arrest. Now the pink candy user has a strong craving for more of it during a crash. <coughs> now, other On top of being nervous and just not knowing period. Heron or alcohol. He's currently experiencing agitation and restless behavior, depressed mood, fatigue, general feeling of discomfort, an increased appetite, vivid and unpleasant dreams, slowing of activity, or psychomotor retardation. Now the craving and depression can last for months after stopping long-term heavy use, and we already know, man, he was a long-term heavy user. Now withdrawal symptoms may also be associated with suicidal thoughts in some people now as i mentioned to you guys he is currently on watch and also a celebrity prison coach came out to verify it as well tmz put out the story saying that sean combs may be holding up okay at the moment behind bars but concern for his well-being is also being warranted now a celebrity prison coach has informed tmz john fuller a consultant known for his high profile clients he prepared martha stewart for her stay in prison tells tmz the rap mogul why didn't bro why didn't bro get a Martha Stewart jail? Martha Stewart's jail was like a, a QVC set, probably. She was probably making cupcakes and sewing and doing all that grandma shit. May be trying to take his life in his early days locked up and his mental health is at concern. He indicated that Diddy is likely used to getting his way, given his A-list status. However, those days are over, at least for now, and that may come complicated for him to process. Fuller added, this is his version of 9-11. Fuller also mm. says a feeling of complete hopelessness is entirely possible given the severity of Diddy's situation. Now, during withdrawal, there can be powerful, intense cravings for more of that pink candy. Now, the associated high with ongoing use may become less and less pleasant. It hey, y'all, uh, look at French back there. Look at, damn, look at Mary back there. Interesting. What do y'all think, if anything, is going to go on with Mary? I ain't going to lie to you. I can see Shorty hitting that stand if she if she gets called, and I can see her spilling some beans. I really could. She got a lot going on right now. Oh, and Mr. Uh, hey, baby, Mr. Boosie. Oh, that, that, that was uh, Hurricane Chris. Mr. Boosie. He had a song where he said, went to NY and party with Diddy or something. But then he was in interviews like, man, I can't perform that no more. I can't this. I can't that. But now he's supporting dude. You should have left that little verse in your set or that bar or whatever and called it a day. I was about to go off on a tangent about him and Rallo. I'm sick of that shit too. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> it can produce fear and extreme suspicion rather than euphoria. So yeah, it's gotta be a definite nightmare for Sean P. Diddy Combs, man. You live a very comfortable life and now it all came crashing down. Now the thing of it is, man, we're not celebrating another black man being locked up for the rest of his life, man. It's definitely an unfortunate situation. And also it's sad for all his children to have to go without their mother ain't none of this shit sad y'all this man knew what he was doing when he was doing it he knew he was victimizing people he knew he was taking advantage of people he knew he was looking down on people he knew period he knew what came with this shit he just thought he was too big big paws <laughs> that's all it is now that shit hits the fan it's smearing all on the walls it's smearing on the walls, it's stinking, 
it's just sliding down and he has to withstand that this is why you don't treat people a f- messed up way and then had a the nerves to be salty when the shit comes back on you always remember a thing called karma point blank period and also now without their father now apparently i guess his Devil twin daughters eyed. are with kim porter's friend he ain't care about them i hope they ain't with quincy for real for real somebody said they was but then somebody said they was with um oh my god I've, lebron friend uh the late kim porter that's definitely a sad situation man like you know diddy he he should have did a lot better by his children a lot of people said he was a great dad yeah i feel like he was a great dad to a certain extent but also being a great dad man comes with you actually taking care of yourself uh being healthy doing smart things look at that skull on that boy's shirt there was a video look how trey looking at him come on man i bet that was the weirdest company right there i've heard some wild stories about trey anyway how i feel about it y'all i'm happy he's receiving his just due why it took so long it might have been that company and how he tried to out them and they did a uh uno reverse draw four on this stupid ass and now we're here i don't feel bad for him i hope this is a lesson to others to really be fair with people don't take advantage of people don't make people that aren't as fortunate as you feel like peasants real talk Anyway, like the video. I'm out. Peace.